Well, before I see Avengers, Age of Ultron, I had to review the original Avengers. The first one that came out in 2012. And I decided to avoid all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies to the Avengers and then to the Age of Ultron. Reasons are that it will take too long and I will probably see Age of Ultron by the time I finish it. But with no further ado, let's get on with a review that I want to do. And it will start off. Kicks it out by a series that I got completely expired by Chris Stuckman. My favorite movies I have playlists. That's gonna be starting this one. And it's gonna be a series, yes. And one's already coming in is Revenge of the Sith. That's going in there. With no further ado, I don't need too long. Let's get to the review. Yeah, the, and the Avengers was a marvelous film. Great, one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. And rarely anyone says, I hate Avengers. Only hear good things. And there is the black backlash which commonly happens, but Avengers was awesome. Man, I'm just so jacked for Age of Ultron. And I felt like it's appropriate to review Avengers first. And I have and plus I haven't even done any classic reviews for a while. The last time I did it was for the two Hunger Games. I did that. And now I'm gonna do another one, which is Avengers, the original. And what did I think of it? The film is not perfect, as everyone thought it'd be. It has its problems, like, I felt like the villain, Loki, it's not that threatening after, because he's completely, uh, I, uh, by the final battle, I completely went, Loki's a pussy. I actually went that. I felt like he should be more involved in the battle. All I see him in that battle for New York, it's him fighting Thor. That's all. You know, Anthony's a great villain. Have heroes fight him occasionally, like Black Widow finds him, gets her ass kicked, and then move on. Then he fights Iron Man, then Hawkeye, and Captain America even. Even though Captain America already fought him, so I don't count him. But, I, but the film is still great. That's the only major problem I have, which is the villain is great until the Battle for New York. Oh, out of New York. As you can see. The film still really great. And I love the cast of characters. When I first saw it, I kind of got for, about bored with the first 20 minutes. I kind of like waited, waited until the plot gets going. But um, for repeats, a lot better. And you can tell why. Overall, uh, in, now, why I one way I said overall, Joss Whedon, great directing this film, and I completely. By the time I first heard the announcement, which was back in when Avengers hits one point five at uh, one point zero billion dollars, and don't worry, I get to the trailers soon for Star Wars and Batman v Superman only. Not interested in doing an Batman video, but let's get to what we're talking about. This film still is a very great film. Like, other than the cast of characters and directing and story where it happened, where it picks up after 20 minutes, the action sequences are pretty good as well. I really enjoy watching those action sequences. And and uh, I will get. I'm going to do another classic review 
which has to do with um, with destruction porn. You know what I'm talking about. And overall, this film is let's say it a near perfect film, and is easily the best out of MCU alongside Iron Man. And Guardians of the Galaxy, or and Captain America: Winter Soldier. I was originally, I originally uploaded Captain America: Winter Soldier, but one complication came. It got content ID blocked. I tried a new clips just to test out how it goes, but you know what happened? Blocked. And that kind of made me a lesson learned. But overall, guys, this film is a must see, and. Go enjoy it, dude. If you're going to watch from Iron Man to Avengers Age of Ultron, feel free. Because you got plenty of time to do it. Start from today until when you see the film. Which is probably going to be this weekend for me, or next weekend. It's probably around the first three weekends of the Avengers. Because we had to see it as soon as possible before all the spoilers come out of the comments. Because I don't want to hear spoilers like, Oh, this character died. I had to see the, that's why I like seeing films as soon as possible. Bye guys. This film gets, I forgot, almost forgot about the rating. This film gets a 4.5 out of 5. A near perfect film. But it has a few problems to almost making it a 5 out of, first out of 5 out of 5 for me. There will be one 5 out of 5 film soon. Anyway guys, what do you think of the Avengers? Comment below and let me know. And if you want to see more reviews like these, comment below saying keep going or just start with Avengers or let uh, let us hear all the all your opinions for the other MCU movies. And I did see all of them in when I came out in cinema. In cinemas. Let's get to the next review. And you're gonna enjoy my opinion of the next movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I went too long with my outro. I get, I'm really getting in the habit of doing it.